Hi everyone, my name is Crystal and I'm back to do a video. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Today I'm in the I'm behind the scenes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and if you're wondering what is this, Crystal? Um this is actually my beauty storage. So I basically keep all of my makeup and stuff like that. It's definitely not the most aesthetic kind of thing, but it kind of suits my needs at the same time. So whenever I'm like reaching out for products in the middle of shooting or filming kind of thing, this is normally what I'm looking at really. Uh so yeah, I keep most of my makeup here like all the eyeshadow, um, I wouldn't say eyeshadow, eyeshadow I have like a separate storage to it. I guess I could do a video on it if you guys are interested. But um, yeah, mainly like uh, foundation, concealer, blushes, highlighters, they're all over here. And also a bit of eyeshadow, like the daily makeup eyeshadow in a sense. I put it here in front of me so at least I can reach out for it when I'm going to office or something like that. So that's normally what I reach for and yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So you guys can see like um, you have the Pat McGrath palette over here, which is this one over here, really big. And oh, you can see me. Hello. Hi. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks like. Uh, I did a video on this. If you guys are interested, I can put a card up above. But yeah, I put this palette out here because I don't really want to put it in my eyeshadow collection because uh, I feel like it's so expensive. It should be, you know, showed out. And proud, I guess. So, um, yeah, these are also at one point of time my go-to lip colors. I have a lot, a lot of the ColourPop, uh, Lux lipsticks. Uh, actually, these are kind of like my favorite lipstick formulas, and I usually wore these lipsticks the most when I was, you know, out and about before. Um, yeah, and I also have some uh, glosses. Um, I think this is by Soap and Glory. Um, the sexy mother pucker lip gloss. So this one's more of like a stingy one. Um, this is a halo effect from ColourPop, this uh, blotted lip. Actually, a very, very beautiful coral color. And this is probably the only like coral color that actually works for me. Because coral on me in general, I don't really like it. <laughs> I actually did a video on like doing a full face of coral makeup. If you guys are interested, I will put the card up above here. Or here. Here. I, I don't know, but yes. <laughs> yeah, and I actually have the um just a tint uh formula as well from ColourPop. A lot of ColourPop actually, as you can see. Um honestly speaking, I I don't really reach for these. I don't really like the formula of these uh tints because they feel a little bit too like waxy in a sense. I, I don't know. They're just not my thing. So yeah, I don't really like these tints, but I would say the colours themselves are really, really pretty. Yeah, it's very natural, very pretty. So yeah, these two. Um, the one that I have is um City of Stars, the more like pinky natural one, and also a uh, cutie cutie fruity. Oh yeah, guys, guys. Oh my gosh, this liquid lipstick in uh. Ariba from ColourPop as well. Amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. You can tell. I've used this a bit. Like, <laughs> I definitely did use this quite a bit as uh, at one point of time because this is such a beautiful um, lipstick. Oh, yeah. And on the table here, I actually just received the Elva palette from Odin's Eye and also the Solmane palette. This palette over here, these two really beautiful palettes. I actually used the Solmane, Solman, Solmane. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. The Solmane palette, uh, I wore it to work the other day. I don't know if I have pictures. If I do have it, I'll put it the picture up here. This is a really, really beautiful palette. Look at it. Wow, it's so beautiful. I think I used this shade, this shade, and this shade. Not really sure if I used this shade. I can't really remember, but yeah. It's a really beautiful palette. Absolutely love at first sight. Oh, I'm here. Where am I? Wait, that's the camera. Yeah, and um, also, I guess I'll just do a quick show, I guess, of the Elva eyeshadow palette. Look at this! Look at this, so beautiful, the sparkly shimmers, the mattes, they look all oh, so beautiful, I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to play with this palette. I'll definitely do a video on this, Um, but <laughs> yep, really excited to play with this palette. So yeah, like these are like my containers, I have like eyebrow and eyeliner, blush, contour, lips, concealer and powder, foundation, and eyeshadow. The reason why this is open is because it's 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 jammed up, sis. I, I can't push it in. Anyway, so um let's start off with the one that's the highest, quote unquote like the highest level. Um but this is supposedly the eyebrow and eyeliner one, but it became the most like miscellaneous um drawer in a sense. If you're wondering like oh my god why is Solar Sailor in this drawer? Um, actually, uh, it's because I, I really don't have enough space in 
the remaining drawers because they are just full to the brim and I really need to do a declutter or do something about it, about my storage spaces. So yeah, so last day, last inside here, I also I have the um Perfect Diary palette, the cat one, which is what I have over here. Uh, I actually did a video and review on this. I will put a card up above as well. This is how it looks like. Um, Yeah, honestly, didn't really love this palette. So now I'm just thinking of a place to, you know, declutter this and yeah, I guess I could declutter this particular eyeshadow. I also have like Epil, uh, liquid blusher. It's just because it's in such an awkward shape. I just kept it here. So yeah, um, some like lip doe food applicators because sometimes I do like uh, my friend's makeup or you know, I don't want really to use my own applicators. So yeah, so I have some for eyebrow, eye brushes, uh, mascaras as well. Again, lots and lots of um, testers and yeah, just a lot of miscellaneous stuff over inside here. Nothing too interesting, honestly speaking. So yeah, now we're moving on to the blush contour and highlight drawer, which is um, ta-da, all this. I can't pull it out all the way, but this is what I have so far. It's a lot, sis. It's a lot. So you see like why I have to put like certain like highlighters in this particular drawer because this drawer is so full to the brim and I just need to do something about it. Um, so yeah, so yeah, like I have the Space Age Prophecy Highlighter. I actually did a video on this as well. You can go check it out. Um, I also have a lot of Super Shock Shadows as well. So I have, um, this is a Thimble. Yeah, I have Thimble. I believe this is like discontinued already. So that kind of sucks. Um, I also have um, Lunch Money, which I actually hit pan on this. I really, really do love Lunch Money. It's a very natural uh, highlighter. I also have this. This is uh, Rocket Science, I believe. Yeah, this is discontinued for sure, definitely. Um, this is a purple highlighter. I also have a Wisp as well. I believe this is a little bit too dark for me, honestly speaking. Wisp. Uh, I also have um, Flexitarian, of course. The big girl, the Flexitarian. Who could ever forget her? So, really, really beautiful highlighters for Colourpop, but I honestly don't really use them, in all honesty. So, this is actually my, my first highlighter. This is the Becca and uh, Jaclyn Hill collaboration, Champagne Pop. Uh, really... Oh, beautiful beautiful formula you can see there's a significant dip in it because i really did show lots of love to this particular highlighter uh honestly speaking becca formulas are not really my thing anymore but i just keep it because emotional attachment question mark <laughs> so yeah uh, i also have the well this is not highlighter but this is the v shading from peri Para. i'm sure you guys have seen this before um I also have this particular blush, the Tarte uh, 12 Hour Amazonian Clay one in a party. Yes, this particular shade, I got it for free from a Lucky Dip at Sephora. Very well loved as well. There's actually a dip. I'm not really sure if you guys can see it, but there is a dip. And you can see the embossing is kind of rubbing off. Oh my god, there you can actually see pan. <gasps> guys, I did not know this, but yeah, you can see the embossing. Oh my god. I'm gonna hit pan on the blush. Wow, Crystal is making progress. <laughs> yeah, I also have the Clinique Cheek Pop in Fake Pop as well. This one over here. This is kind of like a, I would say a brighter blush. It's kind of like a corally brush, brush, blush. This one over here, really beautiful. I actually really do like the formula of the Clinique blush. So I'm very, very keen to try out more from this brand. As well, I also have the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in uh, Rose Latte. Um, because I was very intimidated by the other colors, so I picked up this color. I know you're probably thinking like, whoa, this is a little dark for you. It kind of is, uh, but the moment when you share it out on your cheeks is actually a very, very nice flush, like deep red. So I think it's a pretty cute look. So yeah, I also have the Fenty Beauty uh, kilowatt highlighter in Hustler Baby. This is actually the tester size, if I'm not wrong, or the mini size. Uh, honestly speaking, I don't really use this highlighter because I feel like the shade doesn't really suit me in a sense. Um, but yeah, I probably should just do something with this. <laughs> so yeah, I also have the Sam blushes as well, which is what we have over here. Um, this is in RDO3, if I'm not wrong. Yep, RDO3. And also I have uh, PPO2. This one is a purple shade. I have some more as well at the back over here. 
<laughs> yeah, I have a lot of the same blushes. This lavender one. Um, there's this uh, RD02, which is this more uh, peachier kind of blush. I also have the yellow one, which I honestly don't really use, but I always keep it on hand because just in case I need like a yellow blush or something like that. And also this like more beigey one, this uh, BE02, which is a beigey kind of salmon kind of color. I actually really do like this blush. So yeah, I actually picked up the Becca uh, Holiday Highlighters at one point as well, uh, back in I think 2018 if I'm not wrong. So this is a 2018 Holiday Edition. Uh, some of them cracked on me if I'm not wrong. Let me see. I believe this is one of them. This is, uh, yeah, this is um Vanilla Quartz if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this is Vanilla Quartz. But I actually really, really do like this shade. This particular shade is really beautiful. Um, There's like this like pinkier reflex to it, which is quite cute, honestly speaking. Uh, I don't think you can see it. Oh God. Prismatic Amethyst, which is this one. This purple kind of color to it. Really beautiful. You can tell that I really didn't really touch these highlighters. Um, uh, this is in Rose Quartz. Another beautiful highlighter, honestly speaking. Such a shame that I don't really wear them. I really need to do a declutter. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, and also I have, this is in uh, Opal. Yeah, Opal was a very popular, uh, shade as well. Does anyone remember? My god. The craze for this particular shade, Opal and Champagne Pop. Wow. Crazy man. But yeah, these are the holiday ones. Some blushes that I have over here is like the Maybelline Rose Gold ones, um, some Thai brand if I'm not wrong. This is a Thai bronzer and highlighter if I'm not wrong, but I honestly don't really like the formula on this. This is the Gino McCray one and this is how it looks like. Um, it's very, very pigmented, honestly speaking, which is kind of be nice, but the highlighter itself is not really highlightery, if you get what I mean. It's kind of like almost like a flat color in a sense. So, um, yeah, this is how it looks like. Yeah, let's move on to lips. And um, this is my lips stuff. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Because at, if we let's all face it, lipstick at one point of time was like the, the gatekeeper to the introduction of makeup to most girls, I feel. So, yeah. Um, this is actually gifted to me by one of my friends. This is from Perfect Diary. This is actually the V08, if I'm not wrong. The one that you see a lot on Douyin. So, this is how it looks like. Honestly speaking, quite a nice lipstick. I've just been recently trying it out. It's not too bad. Um, gosh, I have a lot. I don't know how am I gonna cover it. But basically, <laughs> basically, this corner over here is kind of like my lip liners, which I honestly don't really use. So I don't really have a lot. Oh, well, I, I kind of take it back now because <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, but I've seen worse. So <laughs> not makeup shaming, but I think this is a decent range of lip liners because, oh, 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 it's going everywhere, my god. But I feel like these lip, I have a decent range of lip liners for like different uh, undertones of reds, browns, nudes as well. So I think this is a, it's a healthy mix. I think the Korean tints, the Rom Dan Korean tints, I can never shut up about this tint. So if you guys, if you guys are keen on checking this out, I'll put like cards above, links in the description box. If you guys want to check it out, do check it out. Rom Dan lip tints. The glassing water tint, amazing. So yeah, I also have like some ColourPop uh, Ultra Glossy Lips as well. This one is in Fantasia actually. Uh, looks like I've never really used it, but I did use this quite a bit, honestly speaking, at one point of time when it first came out. So yeah, this is one. So I also have the Peri, I also have the Peri Para, uh Renewed Version, the Ink Velvets. Um, honestly love these tints, but I feel that because of the current situation, we have to wear masks. I feel that sometimes it kind of transfers quite a bit onto the mask and I don't really like it. So unfortunately, I can't really wear this tint out or unless I'm at home alone. So other than that, I don't really wear these tints anymore, which is kind of sad because I really, really do love the formula on this. I love how like long wearing it is and stuff like that. So yeah, such a pity. Oh, I also have this. This is the Innisfree um, Vivid Cotton Ink, which is really, really nice, honestly speaking. Receive quite a number of um, what are you wearing on your lips, both online and offline. <laughs> so it's the Vivid Cotton Ink 8. This is a very, very beautiful tint. Uh, it looks like this. It's like almost like a burgundy color, but oh, the moment you shear it out uh, on your lips, you just don't want such a pigmented uh, application, just like a light rub like this. Oh, so beautiful. Just like that, that smudge of tint on your lips is really beautiful absolutely love it uh but i'm honestly not a big fan of the formula so uh 
formula itself, I give it like probably like a like a five out of ten because it can be quite drying for this particular formula of tint. But uh, the color is beautiful. Yeah, a lot of color pop. I see a lot of color pop in it. I also have like Bia lipstick as well. Um, I don't know what shade is this, but it's this kind of red. At one point of time, I had like a huge like. I only wear red kind of face. So that's a lot explains why I have a lot of red in my collection. Oh, I have the Bloody Liar Coating Tin by Lily by Red. Have you guys heard about Lily by Red before? Oh my god. Um this at one point of time was like the only thing I would wear. Uh honestly it looks kind of gross now, but uh, oh my god. So beautiful, so nice, so ooh. It's almost like a red glossy lip. I feel like this is one of the pioneers of red um like not red but like glossy lips in a sense it's almost like a like a juicy gloss tint fusion kind of thing so yeah really beautiful really really wet wow probably should pick up like a new one actually i also have these so juicy glosses as well from colourpop uh been, i think this is in big slice yeah big slice over here and this is a really beautiful gloss love it so much Oh, I also have um other glosses as well. This is from an indie brand called uh, Peach Glam Beauty. This is an Evelyn. Um, yeah, I kind of picked up this shade because I like the milky pinkness to it. And also Evelyn from League of Legends. If you guys play games, y'all, Evelyn, I'm a hoe for Evelyn. KDA, ho, huh, more, yes. <laughs> but mainly it's a lot of Colourpop uh, lipsticks and stuff like that at the back. I can see, yeah, this is a better shot, I guess. Lots and lots of lipstick, mainly Colourpop, uh, uh, AOA, Sugar Scrub kind of thing. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Alright, so now we're back to um, nearer to the ground. I don't know why we are so high. But anyway, <laughs> we have the concealer and powder drawer, which is what we have over here. Um, mainly, I've been using the Hourglass powder, honestly. This is the one that I've been reaching out for the most, um, most wearable, most natural, radiant finish. Honestly speaking, if I do run out of this, this is something I will reach out and go out and get it. Like, I need this in my life if I don't know how to operate without it, so yeah. I also have the Laura Mercier powder, which is what I have over here. This is in, like, some special packaging. Mine's in translucent, so yeah, um... This I find pretty drying for me, honestly speaking, so I don't really reach for this. So unfortunately, yes. Uh this is actually my favorite go-to drugstore uh powder. This is actually the Fit Me Maybelline. I'm in the shade 10 fair, but honestly speaking, I feel maybe I could go like half a shade. We call half a shade, like five steps down, which is like number 15 in a sense. Because 20 is a little bit too dark for me, but 10 is a little bit light. I can pull it off, but like it's a little bit too light at times, so. Yeah, this one. So we have the Eclipse ones as well. Uh, what else? What else? We have um, Innisfree powders as well. This is the Innisfree Moisture Powder. Uh, no sebum. Remember this and and this. These got so much hype and just so much love. Uh, but yeah, I actually don't really use these powders anymore. So, woo. Wow. Just calling myself out right now. I also have the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Uh, I actually really do like the product, but the casing itself is cracking and just... Hell no, sis. She's trying to struggle. <laughs> I have the Colourpop No Filter Setting Powder as well. Uh, actually, I really do like this powder, but it's just that I don't really like the compartment of it because... Uh, look. Oh my god. It's... It's a mess, sis. Whenever I use this, it's just powder everywhere and I feel... I feel the powder just flying everywhere as well. Uh, yep. I think I have this in banana as well, yeah. But banana is a little bit like too dark for me, so yep. I have a mini KVD powder as well over here. This one, I actually feel that I, I haven't got the chance to try this out yet, but this was given during like a birthday sale or something like that for Sephora. So I'm like, okay, I'll try it out, I guess. But yeah, haven't even opened it up yet. So still, still has the cap on and everything. So yeah. So those were the powders. I have others as well. I have um, Too Faced, uh, Bond This Way, uh, Concealer, uh, Colourpop, the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. This is a little bit too dark for me, but oh well. Uh, I have Peripera, Maybelline, Makeup Revolution as well. This one, um, honestly speaking, this one is a so-so. It's a little bit too light, the shade itself, C6.5, even though it should be a perfect match, but Whatever, okay. And the current concealer I've been using a lot is actually this one. This is the Creo Kill Cover Liquid Concealer. 
I this is like a reformulated version if I'm not wrong. Um back in like 2015, 2016, this got a lot of hype. Uh and then they reformulated it and I feel like this concealer, uh especially now during like wearing masks and stuff like that, it adheres really, really well to the skin. Love this concealer. Um yeah, this is the concealer, my go-to concealer. Uh, it used to be this one. This is the big cover concealer by Etude House, but I feel like it doesn't adhere that great to my skin. So normally the combination I would do is um this particular concealer and also this uh powder. So these two are like my almost like my base makeup in a sense. So just these two only. So this is the foundation drawer. Um, there's honestly not much in it. <laughs> I don't really wear foundation, honestly speaking. Quite a number of the foundations are actually quote unquote expired. So it's kind of gross. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish Foundation, which is this one over here. Uh, I'm in the shade 120. I actually used to, used to have the shade 128, but there's no in between shade here in Singapore, like one step up kind of thing. But because the shade range here is just ultimate trash, honestly speaking. Uh, so yeah, the next step lighter in a sense, it's 120. So yeah, this is what I have. I also have the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. foundation. Oh god, this this is so ugly. The, the, the graphic design, who asked to slap just foundation just like that across the bottle is... Ugh. But yeah, it's the luminous foundation. Uh, I have the shade 250C, but honestly speaking, this is really, really dark for me, so I don't really use this. It's probably my fault. I picked up a shade that's too dark, even though on site it looked okay, but Oh, whatever. Okay, sure. I also have the April Skin Magic Snow Cushion. This is the latest version, the 3.0. If you guys are interested, do let me know. I've actually been wanting to do a review on this, but I see that it's not very easily available, like this particular cushion. Uh, cushion. So yeah, it looks like this. And the puff and just... Yep, looks like this. I've used it up quite a bit already. I really, really do like this cushion foundation a lot. If you guys are interested in having a review on this, do let me know. Double Lasting Serum Foundation from Etio House and also the Double Lasting Foundation from Etio House as well. I think these two are both in the shade Sand if I'm not wrong. So yeah, Sand and Sand. So yeah, these two, I feel like these are a little bit light for me, like a tad bit too light, but Tan is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm just in that weird awkward shade, <laughs> in between shade. And I just don't want to buy two, so I just kind of bronze it up most of the time with these two uh, foundations. I also have this. This is the No Problem uh, Primer by Touch and Soul as well. I actually really don't really use primers because I find it really awkward to use, especially when it comes to using sunscreen together with it. I'm just like, ugh, kind of thing. So yeah, I don't really use this primer, unfortunately. Uh, Cleo, Kill Cover, um, what's this called? Kill Cover Ample Cushion. Honestly speaking, this cushion is an ultimate letdown. Oh my gosh. I really don't like this cushion because it just lives and yeah. Oh, don't really like this cushion. Uh, yeah, probably will declutter it or just keep the casing or something like that. Uh, I also have this. This is the number 7 Stay Perfect uh, foundation. I picked this up while I was in Thailand. Uh, I actually really do like this foundation. The problem is, it looks really, really great. Like, look at my skin. Doesn't it look grey, in a sense? <laughs> so yeah, it, it's kind of grey, and I, I, but when you mix it in with other foundations, it's fine. So yeah, this is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I picked this up when the hype for this particular foundation was real. Uh, yeah, I actually really do like this foundation. The finish of it is very beautiful. Unfortunately, I only have the shade 203. I have to buy it online through like Easy Buy. And yeah, this is a shade that they recommended. I'm just like, okay, sure. Uh, but it's a little bit too pink for me. So, yep. I also have this one. This is the NARS uh, Sheer Glow Foundation. Uh, I have mine in Light for Uvele, this one. Um, honestly speaking, this is very, very light as well for me. Um, currently, I'm, I don't know why. I guess I got a little bit more tan in a sense. So at a point of time, it matched me pretty well. But now it's kind of, uh, um, I don't think so kind of thing. So, yep, nope. Uh, yeah, and I also have this. This is the Superstay Foundation uh, by Maybelline as well. Uh, I'm in a shade. How much am I? 1 to 8, right? This is the shade that was the most... I would say they were recommending this for light medium skin tone and I am light medium so I thought this would be great but 
this is just way too dark. Look at that. Look at that. No, just no. <laughs> so yeah, and I just have a lot of like testers inside of used, very disgusting used um cushion puffs that I probably should wash. But yeah, this is what I have for foundations. I really don't really wear foundations. I only like wear mainly concealer, like spot concealing, and like that's about it. So yep. Alright, alright, right. Last drawer over here, which is the eyeshadow drawer. Um, so yeah, I have all these. Uh, I actually keep my blushes here as well. Because I really don't have space for like the blush and contour drawer anymore. So I have the contour uh, palette here and I also have the blush one as well, which I have. I know the blush one has been discontinued, so I shall not show this anymore. But I have the contour palette, I believe, in uh, medium, if I'm not wrong. Yep, warm and medium. So this one for me, because it's meant for my yellow Asian skin tone, works really, really well. I really do like the bronzer in this particular palette. Uh, really good, really nice. I have the Letter Shop from Etude House, this particular eyeshadow palette. Beautiful, but mine came broken like this. <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to look like. So yeah, but the color scheme of this, I really, really do like. So this is... One of the palettes that I've been reaching out for quite a bit. If you guys want to have a review, let me know. Uh, 3CE Overtake Palette, which is this one over here. Uh, yeah, looks like this. Beautiful palette. My favorite go-to palette, honestly speaking. Really, um, I felt like it was a bit too cutesy at first, but this is a really, really nice palette, even for my very yellow uh, skin tone. So yeah, this is one palette. And we have this one. This one is the Innisfree uh, My Palette Custom Palette. So this is mine. Uh, the casing is really cute. I really love this casing. Uh, and also this is how mine looks like. Uh, so you can see. Uh, honestly, this brown is a little bit too warm. Doesn't really fit the vibe for the whole palette. But yeah, basically, these are the shades I picked up. Uh, very, um, I would say neutral colors in a sense. Uh, very leaning more to the cool tone side as well. So I also have this shade, which is actually a dupe apparently for the Kevin Coin, I believe one of his contouring products as well. So if you guys are looking for alternative, this is one of them. I believe this is a number two or three, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, because there's no numbers, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure this is in number three, if I'm not wrong. So yeah. We have the Rusted Rose palette from Clio. And we also have the Street Pastel from Clio as well. I actually stopped collecting the Clio Pro Eye palettes already. As much as I love the shimmery shades, I feel like the color scheme for some reason is just not really for me. Even the recent one, the Peach Groove one, it's not something that I would reach out for. So yeah, I didn't pick that one out. The rest are kind of like eyeshadow singles. So we have like the Etude Houses. Um, Tom and Jerry collection for Chinese New Year. The other, I think it was this year, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this year. Chinese New Year. Um, beautiful shades. Oh, God. Oh, I have some super duper old. <laughs> I have some really like super duper old in this free, uh, eyeshadow singles as well. But these eyeshadow singles are something I cannot get rid of because they are just so buttery smooth that they don't make them like this anymore. They are just so good. So, so wet. Kind of looks a little bit crusty at this point already. Maybe I should just get rid of them, honestly speaking. But it's so wet and oh my god, it's so good. I love it so much. These are like... They, I believe this is actually one of my first few eyeshadow singles when I started collecting makeup. Really old. Kind of disgusting, but uh, I can't. I can't. This is just so beautiful. And then we have this gold one. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? My god, guys, look. Look, look, look. Oh my god, look at that. That's crazy beautiful. Wow. Okay, wait, I can't get rid of it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have like a ColourPop a Honey Dude uh, eyeliner over here. Just a random one sitting here because I do reach for this sometimes. I also have the pomade as well for the ColourPop uh, brows. This is in the shade Cool Coca. So, yeah. I don't really use pomades for my brows. I prefer pencil, so yep. Uh, we have some ColourPop singles as well over here. We have the Lightning Bug one over here. This is Lightning Bug. Uh, we have Sequin. This is kind of dried out already. I probably should do something about it. So I also have this one. This is in Birthday Cake. Uh, it's kind of like a, what you call this? Like a cool tone pink with a lot of silver sparkles in it. <laughs> and I also have Ritz. I bought Ritz out of recommendation from Julia. Uh, she's uh, one of another YouTuber here and I really, really adore her content as well. So I picked up Ritz because of her and yeah, 
yeah, she's she's right. It's it's really beautiful. I can't, I can't. It's so beautiful and it's really wearable as well. Like it goes well with anything. So, yeah, I only can stand Julia and say yes, yes, just please. If you guys want to check out a uh, super shock shadow, this is so beautiful. Oh my god, <laughs> remember when? Remember when these were a thing, the Stila uh, liquid shadows, like everybody was talking about it and I really, really wanted to try it out. So I picked up the holiday version. These are the shimmers and glow. Um, I have the shades uh, Cloud, Kitten and Twig, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, these shades over here. And uh, in all honesty, I don't reach for these. I don't reach for liquid shadows. They're just not my thing. Uh, yeah, I probably should get rid of these, but oh well. Yeah, probably should get rid of these. Yeah, that's the general collection that we have over here, the main collection. If you guys are interested to see my eyeshadow collection, do let me know, like I said. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna have trouble editing this video. My god, it's really long, but hey, anything for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!